Apparently that girl loves her dog. That's good to know. No, I have leverage if I ever want to kill you and your family. <laughs> I have your dog. I want one billion dollars. And if you cannot compensate, then I will kill your dog. Kick him first, then kill him. <laughs> That's terrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I like having those stick families on the back of your car. I know how many members in your family you have. I know who I have to kidnap now. <laughs> oh, there you go. I want to see you a little late on the updraw there, bud. Good morning, biker. Welcome back, guys. My name is Senior Asset. And so today I want to talk to you guys a little something about work. Something I normally don't talk about on my channel. Uh, just because I want to keep this life and my work life separate, as obviously I, it's you just got to keep doing that. You can't mix life with uh, with business and stuff like that. So, yeah. So uh, one of the big things that is going to change next week actually is I'm actually taking a position in the office. Right now I do currently work from home, so I mean that gives me obviously a lot of time to edit and uh, put footage up for you guys. But where I'm going to be working from the office, I won't have all this time to basically, uh, well, edit, go randomly film before work and stuff like that. I won't really be able to because there is about a half hour travel time there and back. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot compared to a lot of people, but really when you work from home and there is no time and you can literally work in your pajamas and boxers, you're going to miss it. So I'm going to be in the office for about two months, pretty much the entire fucking core of riding season, which is fucking sad but whatever it gives me time to actually go out on the motorcycle because there are some days obviously where you're at home and you're like i don't really want to go out but now i don't really have a fucking choice so that's a plus it's kind of like a forced mandatory drive i love it um and it's a pretty big change as well i mean right now i'm just in normal customer service and uh, i'm going into customer service but for the wireless aspects of cell phones and stuff so that's fun that's exciting um, I'm really excited to learn new stuff. The job I currently have now is obviously getting very stale. I've been doing it for about four years. And uh, obviously as you do something for an extended period of time, something you don't necessarily enjoy, it does kind of grind on you after a while. So yeah, that's what the plan is going on. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited to go over and actually learn some new aspects of the company and uh, further my, my knowledge of the products and the company. So that's always fun. Um, I'm just more excited that I actually get to go riding over there. Like, I mean, I have to deal with traffic. I have to deal with assholes. It means I might have some good footage. I might have some good rage. Uh, but the bad thing is traffic and getting up really, really early. Like, it is actually so early right now. I just got off at 11 o'clock last night. I didn't go to bed until like 2.30 because I couldn't fall asleep. And now I'm up, it's like quarter, or actually 7.30, so that's only fucking like five hours sleep, man. I rolled out of bed and I was so groggy, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. But one big thing is, as soon as you jump on this motherfucking motorcycle, man, yeah! See, that guy knows. He's rolling in style. He don't give a fuck. New five cheese stuffed crust pizza. Only a pizza hut. Well, fuck. I only know about three cheeses. Look at you eating your egg McMuffin. You motherfucker. <laughs> she looks like she's 14 driving that car, man. That's fucking weird. I'm getting a call. So, guys, I'm going to sign it off, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Right back. Ah! Answer! Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm going to a dentist appointment. Yeah, I'm going to a dentist appointment. I see you. What? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I see you. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm all riding when you think I'd be asleep. <laughs> so I just got finished with the dentist, and eh. <laughs> it's the dentist. They poke you with sharp objects and blow water in your mouth and expect you not to swallow. You know, the normal. <laughs> Sounds like a good night on Vegas. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, so 
Uh, as I was telling you guys earlier, book going in for my job. Um, unfortunately, there was no real way around it. I have to go into the office. I'd still prefer to work from home, though, naturally. Who doesn't want to work in their boxers? Everybody. But uh, hopefully this will open up a lot more opportunities for me down the road. Um, look at this guy in his swagger. He don't give two and a half fucks, you know what I'm saying, brah? <laughs> he gave me a day dog. Fucking love it. Alright, yeah, so, uh, of course, you gotta grow within a company. You can't do YouTube forever, where I live anyway, because fuck, I live in Nova Scotia. I get like four or five months of good weather and the rest of it's snow, and so I mean, unless I turn into a snow, or like a snowmobile or a ski do, whatever, then that would probably work. And I'm getting real sick of your shit construction. I don't know how to feel. I'm sick of looking at your guys' face. It's everywhere, and it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> It'd be funny if his sign up there pointed to where he was going. <laughs> uh, of course not. Bruh. Bruh. Thanks. And one thing I love is no matter how many times you visit the dentist, they always give you a toothbrush. So, I mean, if you go to the dentist a lot, you have like an accumulative, like a huge amount of fucking toothbrushes. It's funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so I use an electric toothbrush. Okay, well, we're going to give you a manual one. Bitch, did you not listen to what I just said? I said I have an electric toothbrush. I don't give a shit about your manual. Man, does no one know how to turn properly? Like, really, Mitsubishi? Do you not know how to turn? You're getting on my nerves. Just saying. Just putting that out there. Oh, God, it's a woman. I'm going to die.